all right guys this is top 10 scary ghost video to scare fat men off the roof i don't know what is that title but let's get into it okay well, let me just close them let just make a little spooky urban exploration gone wrong by the way shout outs to new top five and yeah let's get it urban explorers man and andy from the youtube channel finders beepers history seekers travel to an abandoned 1800s farmhouse in west yorkshire england in the early 1900s, a farmer's wife passed away from disease inside the home. Mad with grief, the farmer took the lives of their two children while they slept in their beds. Yeah. And then, he took his own life in the barn. The unsettling tragic history has Matt and Andy a little creeped out as they explore the building. And that's when Andy sees... Uh, something. Alright, what this did he see? Okay, let's go in the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Oh, oh, now nah, I don't know what I feel about this. Carpet. Very spongy, very spongy carpet. In it, it's very soft. Oh, what? Oh. What? What? Oh. What's in there? Look, what? Oh, what is this? <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, really? Nothing get jump scared see. by it? Oh, oh, the shadow. I shot it in there and I saw that bouncing. I shit my ass. Shit me up. Fucking drop a shit me up. Oh, my lord. After Andy's absolutely terrifying encounter with a lamp cord, the two guys laugh it off and continue looking around. But not soon after, things take a truly creepy turn when they hear something absolutely unnerving coming from somewhere inside the building. Shh. Stop. Is there someone downstairs? Oh, no, sir. No, listen. Can you run in? Run in. Okay. I can hear Yo, no, you hear that footstep there? Running feet. Get your ass out of there. And you look where he is. It's like blocking it off. Where's that? Where did that even come from? for the terrifying event a childlike voice can be heard whispering it's me oh no sir no sir don't like it man don't like it man yo me just hear on phone in eyes a while ago i'm a look yo my heart stopped a while ago my heart stopped a while ago Oh my gosh, let's continue. Don't like it, man. 
So could it be that the two friends accidentally captured the spirits of the family who once lived there? You can watch this entire video and many more creepy explorations through abandoned locations over on the YouTube channel, Binders Beepers History Seekers. Gate to Hell. It's 3 a.m. and Cassandra is shocked awake by the sound of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. Yo, that's that's weird. That's weird. What the freak is that? Whoa! Oh, no, see that? See there? Mr. So one figure right. That's a what the frick? What the frick? Oh no. No sir. I look for him gone now. Just a cat? That wasn't no cat. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking person appears to be yeah. standing just outside the garden fence. Yeah. Cassandra runs to grab a brighter That's flashlight, creepy. but That's when she creepy. returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, Hello? response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is, it remains unexplained. Oh, wow, that's crazy. That's so crazy. just a note here, unfortunately, oh. we will not be taking any new Nuke Stop 5 merch orders in January. And I'm not sure when we'll be starting back yet. And the reason is... Thanks so much to all handle it. Way more than I ever expected. So we have to take a break on new orders for a little while. So if you would like to order any new Top 5 merch, no new orders for a while. Summoning the dead. Summoning the, the dead? The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team, Jeff, Phil, and Pete, set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Stanley Halls in South Norwood Hill, oh, London, England. Actually kind of Stanley Halls was designed and built in 1903 by successful British inventor William Ford Robinson Stanley. Although a man of science, William Stanley was always intrigued by the paranormal. It is said that William performed a total of 13 seances to contact the dead and obtain insights into the future. Why? A series of seances that took place. Um, they were him using the communication with spirits to predict the future, to see what was going to happen and use it as a way to look at um, basically what the improvements of mankind would be over the next 50 years. William Stanley passed away from a heart attack in 1909, but Stanley Hall still stands today and is now a community center for the arts. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team is told that many workers and visitors claim to have heard or seen the spirit of William. So the investigators attempt to make contact with his ghost. They set up several static cameras throughout the building and then sit down at a table in the main hall stage area. Yo, I'm sorry, but why, pe why, why, why people have to always investigate things? Why? And I don't know, like said so they might investigate during the day that like, it's in the night, bro. When it's more creepier. Why? Area. They asked the ghost.
ghost of William to join them at the table. What happens next catches them all by surprise. A dark figure is caught on static camera one and the investigators have no idea who or what this could be. Is it possible that they made contact with the ghost of William Stanley? Yeah. Let me know what you That just look like that just look like somebody a walk. A walk past. And maybe I didn't shadow or something. I don't know about that one. I think. You can watch this two part investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech. Paranormal Investigations An unrestful stop Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night But there will be no sleep this night He experiences something truly bizarre So to, to, to hear stuff out here I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop Go through your woods them and night you hear that just know say a time for run no matter what no matter what Related to the paranormal on his TikTok, 
which makes this that creepy footage that much guys. more believable. Also, others say that they've heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, real or not, I leave that to you to decide. Spirits. If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, you might remember TikTok user Josiah Worley. Josiah experienced and recorded multiple paranormal experiences in his home in Minnesota, and was also sort of known for his unhealthy lifestyle, as he was usually drinking in his videos. For some stupid reason, my phone went from 30% to 5%, so I'm going to take a shot. Do something. Ooh, what the f As I was getting ready to leave, my phone almost died. Shh, what the f What happened to the light? I'm gonna go grab everything that I possibly f can. <sighs> okay, okay, try me, bro. What's good? I'm not a bitch. At least I didn't think I was, but I'm starting to progressively become more scared. attempt to escape the extreme paranormal activity in his apartment, Josiah moved to a new city with his girlfriend, and he also began to try to improve his bad health habits. But, as you might have guessed, whatever was haunting Josiah seems to have followed him to his new home. I just cut off a FaceTime with uh, my friends Bree and Liz, and they were saying that something was in the f***ing hallway. Hey, yo. What the frick was that? Oh, it's in the kitchen. My fucking chair is moving. It's... It's straight up moving. I don't... Maria. Josiah starts to become unnerved by the strange activity and slowly starts to return to his bad habit of having an occasional drink. One night, Josiah is boiling water in the kitchen when something happens that shocks him to his core. Mm, okay, so crazy. I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little fucking knife container thing. Huh? Yeah, replay that real quick. Drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little fucking knife container thing. How did that stand up? How is it standing? Somebody explain. How that I stand up? Cause if this was to be faked with strings, it not gonna just it not gonna just pop out of the, the, the knife socket and just drop so nah this is crazy. Okay, no. No. No, is this all because the dude, this is getting dangerous, bro. You're gonna cut yourself. You need to be careful. Fucking no. Actually, I'm so, oh, what the f just happened? Right in front of my face. Fucking shit. No. See? Nah, that's weird. Regular old fucking knife container thingy. <laughs> no, it's not. I just want, I'm not even hungry anymore. A kitchen knife flies off the knife block and lands with the point buried in the floor. Right. Josiah is absolutely shocked and says he has no idea what this dark poltergeist could be that seems to follow him from place to place. But let me know what you think. The hungry haunting.
This next creepy video is a bit of a mystery. It was posted to YouTube over 13 years ago on an account that has no other info than the strange name Freeze Dave Ram. So YouTube user Freeze Dave Ram explains that he occasionally hears strange noises in his home in Hungary, but he says he never really thought much about it. Then one night he's practicing some music on his keyboard. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Oh, let me back up. My light is. Is this like the ring? The ring? Bro, watch the ring tape and he, and he just like, get one bag of hunting and all. around the house fall and some even seem to be thrown. A TV malfunctions in a truly unnerving way and a door slams shut. The musician just makes a run for it and yeah, the video abruptly ends. Again. But that's not all because yeah. did you see it? Someone or something appears to be standing in the shadows of the living room. I know I miss something. I know I miss something. They said that's why I'm a pause, you know. I know I see something there, so come here and look. I literally I look and I wonder what the freak is that come know I see something. Nah, that blending good. And YouTube user Freeze Dave Ram doesn't even see it. Oh my gosh. So could this dark ominous figure be the cause of this terrifying activity? Or is this 13 year old YouTube video just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The shadowy shepherd. This next creepy video was captured by Twitter user Eldar Glorfindel. Eldar says that he and his friends were about to head home after spending a day at the beach in the city of Niteroi, Brazil. They spot a lone goat trotting down the street. So Eldar decides to take a quick video of the goat to share with his friends on social media. Kind of as a joke. But his friends are shocked when they spot something that Eldar did not see. Qual é, mano? Do nada. Um bode, mano. Some eerie figure oh, can be seen watching Eldar and his friends from the shadows. Eldar's baffled and swears that he and his friends didn't see anyone standing there at the time. But whoever or whatever it is, we are dead ass, you know. Okay, you can actually see the goat. The goat, I look at, look funny. Standing there the at the time. Actually, I look funny and I like. But whoever I like, or whatever it is, you see? look. The goat. 
does seem to take notice. Yeah. So what do you think hmm, is going I don't on? Know about here? That one. Maybe I just maybe I just smile uh, being weird or something. Smiley dress up in a costume might be weird. But that's crazy though. Let me know down in the comments. Qual é, mano? Do nada. Não pode, mano. Não pode, do nada. Smiling Jack. A paranormal investigator that goes by the name Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the Roselawn Cemetery in Roseville, Minnesota. Now for years, local police would receive frantic phone calls from cemetery visitors who claimed to see a terrified man who was trapped inside one of the graveyard's mausoleums. But no matter how many times police rushed to the cemetery to check it out, they never found anyone. The mausoleum was always locked and empty. Local legend began to say that this man was a trapped spirit inside the mausoleum. They called him Smiling Jack, named after a picture of a smiling man found inside the mysterious mausoleum. Investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter scouts the cemetery for hours in the middle of the night, hoping to find any signs of Smiling Jack. Keep on your that's what I mean. He almost gives up, but then he decides to take some photos of the inside of the mausoleum. What he captures is downright chilling. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro, my heart. My heart, my heart. I'm gonna take my candy with that video. Yeah. My gosh, that just scared the freak out of me, brother. Whoa, what the? F oh my god! Oh my god, dude, I just caught a face. Holy, f oh my god, dude, I just caught a face in there. Oh my god. An eerie smiling face can be seen in one of the photos and investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter is absolutely shocked by the ah, capture. That looked crazy. But he's not ready to leave just yet. So he begins to ask Smiling Jack oh some questions. My. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Jack, if you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. Tap on it just like this. I don't know, guys. It seems like he's got oh, one. Oh, here, tap in there. Yeah, just and with that, go, the investigator go, has go. had enough for one night. Just go. So, could it be that the stories of Smiling Jack are true? Nah, that could there be a nasty. spirit eternally trapped inside the mausoleum? Let me know what you think. You can watch Bro, this and many more I spooky moments over tonight. on the YouTube channel, Midwest Why Ghost Hunter. Why did I decide to watch this video, bro? Return to the basement. Two months ago, we watched popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill experience what he says was one of the most terrifying moments of his life as he had a disturbing paranormal encounter inside a 100-year-old abandoned factory in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, what? What is Oh. What the f Whoa! Missy two eyes, so two eyes, what the f Wait, is it looking at him or is it looking at the camera? Then it just gone, just like that. Ah. 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 Huh? Come on. Come on, man. <sighs> to this day, Chris still says that he has no idea what happened to him on that horrible night. Oh no, but sir. he's determined to find out. So against his better instincts, 
he decides to go back. Cut to the middle of the night, and Chris heads back down into the basement where he had his previous terrifying encounter. It did not go well. Very early into his exploration, and Chris is checking out an old room where he thinks he heard a strange sound. He doesn't exactly catch what it was, but many of his viewers did. Listen carefully. Oh first thing first, you better the first time and weird shit happen to you, you decide to go again. That's creepy. Yeah. You Did you hear it? When the audio is enhanced, a strange male voice can be heard whispering. But what it seems to be saying can't be understood. It's a weird noise in this room. worse. Soon after this incident, things take a terrifying turn. Bones are still there. What is that? Bones? Wait, what? Oh, that kind of scared me. Yep, yep, get your ass out of there. Just go, bro. Just go. Some heavy object falls or is thrown onto a grate just above Chris's head. In a panic, he rushes upstairs to check the area to try to find the culprit. Oh There's no one there. But meanwhile, an infrared camera that Chris has set up in the basement records something truly chilling. Translucent figure can be seen walking across the basement. Now Chris has no idea what this infrared camera has captured, and he decides to just take a break. Yo, I'm he sits down I'm and sorry, bro. Let me play that real quick. Across. It looked like the the thing a, a model, like you know the modelers be walking and doing that shit. I saw it. Look. I'm sorry, bro. Now Chris has no idea what this infrared camera has captured, and he decides to just take a break. He sits down and starts oh, scrolling through his phone, and what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Just get out of there. Huh? Without warning, Chris is pushed backwards by some invisible force. Whoa. He falls to the floor and is knocked unconscious for 10 minutes. When he wakes up, he quickly grabs his yeah, equipment. knocked unconscious. Good. Morning, Chris is pushed backwards by some invisible force. That, that's some he falls to the floor force, and is knocked bro. unconscious for 10 minutes. When he wakes up, he quickly grabs his equipment and just gets out of there. Yeah, just go. Now, this clip is especially impressive as Chris is a pretty big guy. Yeah, right. But he seems to go flying backwards with intense force. Chris later says that the fall was so hard that both his camera lens and phone screen were broken. Whoa. He says that he will never, ever go back to that place again. Yeah, right. You can watch this entire exploration with even more spooky moments than I did. Me show personally, here I wouldn't have been the there in the first place. So. Urbex Hill. Slight of hand. Late one evening, Reddit user Get the Bass is home alone, recording a video of his brand new aquarium tank and goldfish to post to Instagram. But he spots something truly bizarre. Alright oh guys, got some new fish. Pretty big tank as well. There's currently two black ones, two gold ones. 
Uh, I've called them Goldie. Goldie number two. Uh, <laughs> black one. And I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that. getting goosebumps right now now there are odd things in his house so could this hand belong to someone or something that haunts his home let me know what you think thanks so much for watching lately my upload schedule has been completely ridiculous so please be sure to subscribe really um hopefully i'll see you back oh man we made it through the video man w video w compilation guys if you all enjoyed this one and you know if you do already, leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't want to see me react to more scary stuff, just, just let me know in the comments. And peace out.